Yo, what is up? This is a Brew and What? And you are watching a Brew News, your number one source for world news. And we've got breaking news. June 27th, 2018. Would be a day the world as we know it changed. It all started with a 2 0 loss by Germany to South Korea in the World Cup. Nobody knew that fateful day. But something happened within the German people. The blame game started to go around. They started blaming their government for the loss. Angela Merkel took the brunt of the blame. The people pretty much forced her out of office and they started drifting more... Mm, not full on fascist... They started drifting nationalistic. The government of Angela Merkel lost control of the military. And then, what started it all? It was a powder keg. All it needed was the fuse to be lit. And that light came out of Austria. For no reason and unprovoked, they started airing all types of specials, all types of news broadcasts, making fun of the German people for their loss to South Korea. Obviously, with the new nationalistic Germany, this infuriated them, and they decided the only way to regain their pride was the invasion of Austria, Anschluss 2018. As we prepare for our troops to move into their positions. Oh, Switzerland joins you in. That's great. After the loss to South Korea, the German people were pissed. Everybody was wanting to work. They started going to military factories and building crap loads of tanks and infantry equipment. They knew what was coming. Everybody wanted it. Everybody wanted the war. And so war is what we brought the German people. After deciding what the factories were going to build and throw down a couple subs, they moved on to their focus. Which was going to be... Yes! International alliances, because you never know when you might want to... Start up your own alliance. We may not be a part of NATO for very long. Who knows? We may use them. And with that, bros, it was only hours after the loss that the German army arrived on the border of Austria. And after some eats and a shit break. An extra long shit break. They were so upset there was massive bouts of diarrhea. But after that, The invasion came. War was declared, and NATO was powerless to do anything about it. Everybody started to realize how pissed off the German people were at this loss. Nobody was going to step in and try to stop this. Nobody. They started driving right on Vienna. The war was wrapped up within hours. A oh, BOOM! You will never poke fun at the German loss again. And then, 
without warning, once again, the Swiss almost daring the Germans to invade them, thinking NATO would have their back. Made a mistake that day. They started making fun of Germany's loss. It was a bad decision on their part. Within no time at all. And this, with the speed of the old Blitzkrieg days, Germany was ready to invade the Swiss. They would have even done it if the Swiss wouldn't have made fun of their loss. But it gave them a good excuse. And just like that, the Germans just did something. And just like that, the Germans crushed across the border. Taking burn in no time. It was at this point... Nobody made fun of Germany's loss anymore. Everybody was just, uh, all the countries were just like, hey, it could have happened to anybody. We, we don't blame you. Oh, boom! The Swiss go down. Now what did Germany do, you might ask? What was the next step? Well, probably it was to produce units. That might be a good step. After finishing off Switzerland, Germany turned their eyes towards Sweden and Finland. They seen this as a great opportunity for Operation Barbarossa 2.0. Because the German people also felt like the fix was in. Somehow, Putin and Russia fixed the game. Nobody knows exactly how. But that's what they felt. It took 90 days to plan the invasion of Sweden. But the time had finally arrived. Sweden thought, oh, you know, after, after 90 days, there's no way the Germans are still pissed off about their World Cup loss. Um, you know what? You would have been wrong. Germany is still quite pissed off about their World Cup loss. So much so. Um... Uh, Probably go, what, right through here. That should be enough. Damn, look at that. And they thought they weren't still pissed? Nah, bruh. Germans are still very much pissed. I mean, the, the, the Swedes ran. They're not even defending. They're just like, let's get the hell out of here. The Germans are coming. They lost to South Korea 2-0 and, and they're pissed. And they're not stopping for shit. Germany will have its day of reckoning on South Korea. A oh, boom! Just like that, Sweden goes down. And next up, of course, is Finland.
Why, you might ask, did Germany want to invade Finland? Well, it was because due to the fact that Finland supported South Korea somehow. That's all it took. There was an intercepted communique that Finland congratulated South Korea. And that's just, that's all it took. Germany was instantly pissed. And so the invasion of Finland begins. Inching ever so closer to that war with the host country. And then it's just a short, just a short march into South Korea from there. Uh, what is taking you guys so long? I don't understand. I'm in this not understanding phase again. I thought you were pissed off, guys. There, we're finally trying to do something. I don't know why these bros are here. We didn't. We did not call you in. We don't need your help. Go behind the lines, take their uh, major cities, get them to capitulate. What is capitulation looking like? 52%. Keep it up, guys. As their troops are busy in the north, they're tight. Oh, boom! A Finland goes down. Retribution has been handed down. We have, yeah, yes, we, we have breaking news. Um, while Germany was preparing for the invasion of the home country, they have intercepted Facebook messages between Ireland, Malta, and Cyprus saying that Germany sucks a big fat chub and their national team is an embarrassment. Obviously, that means war. So, um, yeah, we're, we're getting, yes, we're getting word Germany has just launched a naval invasion of Ireland. Please stay tuned. We will have more on this in a bit. We are joining the invasion already in progress. Germany has landed and has already taken Dublin. This is not going to be long. How could these countries have not learned the lesson? Just keep your mouth shut about the loss. That's all you had to do. You got bit by social media. Oh, boom! And the Germans took down yet another country, making light of their epic defeat. Now it is time for Malta and Cyprus. This just in, yeah, yes, we're getting word that the Germans have just launched a naval invasion of Cyprus. Stay tuned for more details. This just in, the Germans are attacking Cyprus as we speak right now. They declared war on them by the same way Cyprus talks shit on the national team by Facebook. They put out a Facebook post. Hey, by the way, Cyprus, we're going to be invading you in about two hours. Uh, Cyprus is doing pretty good. Oh. Oh, what is this here? Breaking news. The Nationalists have won. Merkel's days have been numbered. 
And now we got Udo Pastoros. Pastoros. Something. I don't know. But that's the new government leader in charge of. Oh, shit. In charge of bringing the national team of Germany back to its glory days and punishing anybody who talks shit on them. The last country left. Malta. Oh, abandoning the EU. Very nationalist thing to do. Exactly. L let me read this paragraph. We need to quit. This is unacceptable. They can kiss American asses all they want, but they will have to do that without us. Indeed, bros. We are out of the EU. This just in, Germany has finally launched its naval invasion of Malta. Remember, this this all um, it's all developed over an intercepted Facebook messages between Ireland, Malta, and Cyprus. Oh, damn, we just got kicked out of NATO. I mean, what? And it was on this day, after the fall of Switzerland, Austria, Sweden, Finland, Ireland, Cyprus, and with the launch of the invasion of Malta, the U.S. had had enough and expelled us from NATO. That's right. At this point, Germany renationalized the currency. So we're out of NATO. We don't really care. This just in, Malta is being bombarded from sea. A naval invasion is underway. NATO is powerless to do anything about it. A oh, boom! Malta goes down. And with Malta is the end of the war. We are now at peace. For a very short amount of time. Uh, we, we've got breaking news. This just in. Okay, yes. Germany has decided to invade Algeria. Where it has it, they need oil for their war machine and they're sick of depending on the U.S. for oil. This just in, the Germans have started their attack and they have landed. Let's watch as this unfolds in real time. Germany should just be driving straight for Algiers. If they are not, nobody really knows the military tactic they are using right now. The Germans desperately need a port. And they've got it. They can start being resupplied. Oh, boom! The war with Algeria turned out pretty much the way you would have expected it to. Absolute domination. And now, Germany has oil for their war machine. We are breaking into your regularly scheduled programs to give you... Yes, that, that's correct. Germany has just invaded Libya and, and Tunisia. Germany has just invaded Libya and Tunisia. Where it has it, they were not able to break their dependence on the U.S. for oil. And, uh, yeah, without enough oil, they are not going to be able to take out the host country of the World Cup. It's just not going to happen. 
let's let's join in and see how this oh apparently Libya was talking a little bit of shit about the World Cup loss let's join in and watch this live word has it that German, yes, German, uh, German communiques have been deciphered. They are going to be pushing all the way into. Uh, never mind. We we got fake news there for a little bit. Fake news, people. Nothing to see here. Boom! Tunisia has capitulated. We are calling an all-in to Tripoli and along the coast to try to break this stalemate in the desert. The Germans are apparently rushing the coastal cities to try to get a quick capitulation out of Libya. Stay tuned for further updates. The German offensive along the coast has paid off. They have just taken Benghazi and are heading to Tobruk. The city of Tobruk has fallen. A oh, boom! And with it, Libya has gone down. This just in, Germany has declared war on Egypt. They are storming into the Middle East. Our earlier communique was actually correct. It was not fake news. I like turtles. Oh, <laughs> I like turtles. I forgot to turn that off. Um, where was I? Oh, if Germany makes it into the Middle East and gets a hold of all that oil, there will be no stopping the war machine and their drive through the host country and on in for final retribution on South Korea. On, on South Korea. On South Korea. We are having... We are having technical difficulties. Signal being jammed. Germany on the warpath. No stopping. Oh shit.